What's up, y'all? It's Danny B for DannyB.com and Wild 105.7 and 96.7. And we are here today for this guy, Mr. Tony Gaskins. He's going on his relationship tour called Mrs. Right. He also has a Mr. Right series. And, you know, he's going to be teaching us about relationships and the things that guys look for so that we as women can become Mrs. Right. So let's go inside and see what they're talking about. What's up? We're here with Tangi. She's been on everything. She's been on V103. Been on Foxy 105 in Columbus, and now she's here in Atlanta. Welcome back, Boo. Hey, thank you. Thank you for having me. All righty. So you're here for the Mr. Right tour. What, you, what are you looking forward to tonight? Man, you know what? It's so crazy how social media leverages the playing field. Years ago when I started my uh, workshops for life, I met Tony on Twitter. And I was like, oh, my God, I think you're so dope. Can you please be a part of my workshop? But he was, you know, we didn't have a budget for Tony, you know what I'm saying? Even then, he was like, yeah, but I'm going to need this. I was like, yeah, later, later. But, you know, it was a love and relationship workshop in Atlanta. And so this is kind of like a full circle moment. We emailed, we called, but we never officially met face to face. So, and I think what he's doing for women is great. Atlanta is full of single women. I am um, single and dating. And uh, so, you know, I think it's important that you, you get what you are. So you continue to learn, you continue to get jewels, and nobody has all the right answers, but at least, you know, you around greatness. And plus, I like what he's doing with his life coaching thing. Okay, so again, you would recommend that ladies come and check this out and get the information because you feel as though it's valid, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I would recommend ladies come here and get the information instead of going to strip clubs and meeting dudes and letting them tell you, hey, yeah, such and such and such. And it's like, you wonder why you keep getting dudes that ain't, you know, they ain't about nothing. They just want to hit, blah, 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 blah. And so you come and you find out what men really think. So I, I think it's dope, of course. And the men of Atlanta should be here as well, because if you are straight and looking for Mrs. Wright, then this is where you should be because it's gonna be so many in the same room. I got friends that live in different states, men, that say they move in here just to find a wife. So, take heed. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tangi. Anything else you wanna tell everybody before you head out? Follow me on Twitter, at Tangi Larkin. Alrighty, thank you. Okay, what's up? I'm right here with radio sister, radio diva, Miss Jazzy McBee of Streets 94.5. What's up, mama? What's going on? Nothing, nothing too much. Okay, so why are you up here today? You trying to find your man? Well, actually, I'm not, you know, <laughs> being in radio, you know what I'm saying? But no, actually, I'm not. I'm definitely uh, here trying to support my boys, Tony Gaskin and Aneedin, uh a.k.a. Burlesque. And, of course, Brian Michael Cox. And I know when they're on Twitter tweeting to all the ladies, I'm like, you know, they always have great advice. So I'm here to take just a couple of notes. But I'm, def I'm not trying to find a man. But, uh, <laughs> you know, hopefully I can take it back to my sisters who are single and maybe they can find a man. So, yeah. What are you most looking forward to from tonight, from everything? Um, just the good advice that they all give to women. Because I know a lot of people say, you know, the best advice that you can give, that you can get, is from men, women. You know, we women, we'll talk to each other. we like, okay, you know, uh, trying to get advice from you, but you single, I'm single, it doesn't work. <laughs> so the best advice to get is from men. Okay, makes total sense. Anything else you want to tell everybody before we get up out of here? Um, no, definitely support these brothers. They know what they're talking about, experience. They have girlfriends, wives, so they definitely know what they're doing. Uh, Mrs. Wright is a great seminar for all single women or even married women. Just give advice on just all different things, so make sure you always support them in whatever it is that they're doing. Thank you, Mama. Make sure you check her out on Streets 94.5 every day. All right, we out. We got a lot of fake life coaches that getting clients and then sleeping with them. We got a lot of men that jump into this industry to make money, thinking, oh, let me, you know, get over over these women to make money. But I want you to understand, if you came in here skeptical and you had me in that boat, please take me out of it. Because I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that's purpose. That is to fulfill my God's given purpose and to give back because everything that I took from women, by the age of 22, I had been with sexually over 100 women. I had been abusive, controlling, lying, deceiving, manipulating, 
I was the dog. I was the man that sees you at the top of your game, comes in, sells you a dream because you've been wanting to be married since you was nine years old, sells you a dream, you believe it, play the role, and then you fall victim. And now, move on. He moves on with his life, and you got a soul tie that you can't get over. That's why I'm here today, because it's so important that we understand the power of love, and we understand the power of relationships, and that we bring back real love. And so I started with Mrs. Wright because I realized that women, you are the backbone to society. You're the backbone of the world. Everything starts with you. Okay, here I am with the host for this evening, Miss Ebony Electra. <laughs> How are you this day? I'm wonderful, thank you. I'm doing what I love to do, so I'm good. Awesome. How'd you get involved with this? You know what? I'm a native AT alien, and I do such a good job. This is a gift of mine, and um, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> the publicist that put this whole entire extravaganza together just called me and said, you know what? Of all the hosts that are in Atlanta, you'd be the perfect person for it. You think like a man, and this would be a great opportunity for you as well as a platform for you. So, of course, I said yes, and I'm here. Okay. Um, what piece of advice stood out to you the most? The piece of advice that stood out to me was the difference between lust and love. I know just as a woman that a lot of females have a tendency to, most all females have a tendency to confuse the two. Just because someone is into you and they're calling your phone 20,000 times in the first two weeks, they think that it's love, but it's really not. It's lust. Lust wears off. Love is here to stay. Love is an action word. And if they love you, then you will see that action. And that was the biggest thing. I gained a lot from tonight, but that was the biggest thing to me. For women that weren't here, what do you think is the biggest message of all that they need to hear? I think the biggest message of all is preservation. You know, he mentioned that, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give one example. And I tweeted this like twice. Stop going over to the man's house and cooking. Stop going over and doing his laundry because you're doing the same thing that the next girl is doing. And it's like a competition. Everybody's trying to run a race and win a race. It's not about that, you know. Just as he said, to get a, get to know a man because of his character, let the man get to know you because of your character. And instead of you letting him get in between your legs, let him get in between your mind and between your brain. And then there's the sustainability at that point. So, you know, there was a, a lot. You know, I, I recommend everybody and I encourage everybody to go out and get his new book, which is Miss Right by Tony Gaskins. Awesome, awesome reading, clearly. And he's anointed by God. So seriously, go get it. Anything else that you want to put out there about yourself, where people can find out more about you and everything? Well, right now, everything I do is just on Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. And that is at Ebony Electra, E-B-O-N-I-E-L-E-K-T-R-A. Everything I do, everything, whether it's me blogging about my personal life, whether it's me blogging about where, where I'm going to be, where you can find me, this, that, the other, and any type of spiritual messages, find it on Facebook, Ebony Electra. Um, I'm in the process of building a site. Once I do... Twitter world will know, Instagram world will know. I'm also at Instagram, Ebony Electra as well. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of people, a lot of people do know and some people don't. I'm one of the Three Brown Girls. Three Brown Girls is an event planning company um, formed between myself, a um, very good friend of mine, Nicole Cook Johnson, who's Sam Cook's granddaughter, and my best friend slash sister, Kim Porter. We do events here in Atlanta and all around the United States of America, but I just branched off and started doing what I love to do the most, which is just pretty much reaching out to people. I know I have a voice, I have a following, and I'm going to use it. And um, the best thing I can tell you is to follow me because it's what? My life, your entertainment. I love that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Okay, what's up? We're at the end of the seminar, and I am with Miss Erica Miller. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. So the seminar is over. Right. The men have spoken. What do you think? I thought it was awesome. I thought that Tony was great. He was informative. He was real. He was very candid and upfront. He gave a lot of information that women really need to hear. And sometimes you don't get that kind of honest feedback from your friends and especially not men. And I thought that the panelists were awesome. I thought that they were very engaging. I thought that they were upfront. And I think that has a lot of information that women can appreciate and take back in their future relationships. What piece of information stood out most for you? Wow, I would say 
I would say about loving yourself first. I think that a lot of times women feel like they love themselves first, but then you get in a relationship and there are things that you tolerate because you're just so happy that you have a man or that you have someone. So you start letting your standards slide, you start letting those qualifications slide, but if you really and truly 100% love yourself, whether you're with someone or you're single, you're gonna uphold those standards that you were living by. Alrighty, well thank you, Ms. Thank Erica. Thank you for having me. No problem. <laughs> okay, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great, let everybody know who you are. I am Lady Sonia, the CEO and founder of Lady Sonia Music Studio and Lady University. Okay, and so what did you think of the seminar and everything? Did you get some good advice? I did. I got some good advice. Um, I like the people that were on the panel. Um, everyone was different, um, gave a different answer for all the questions, so I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed seeing Tony Gaston in person as well. Cool. Who do you think you related to the most, if anybody? Tony Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I relate to him the most. Okay. Anything else you want to put out there before we finish? Um, I think that everyone should come to the seminar because um, just being there actually gave you a different perspective. Just um, listening to him give the answer, um, answers to the questions and just, just telling his life story, I think it really inspired me and I'm sure it inspired other people as well. All right. You ready to be Mrs. Right now, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. What's up? Danny B here with... The man of the hour, Mr. Tony Gaskins himself and his esteemed panel. We're going to go around and let you guys introduce yourselves. So. I'm Kenny Pugh, speaker, author, and coach. <laughs> uh, Brian Michael Cox. And a Tom Barriola II. All right. So what got you guys all hooked up together to do this and to, I guess, tell the secrets of y'all little game? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Well, I, I wanted to put something together because, you know, I've been traveling the country with this tour, and a lot of women, they always say, well, you're just one man, you know. So I wanted to bring some other guys and show that we're not that different and that when you become Mrs. Wright, a man pretty much is going to perceive you the same way. And so I brought these guys along, and they, they stood their ground. <laughs> How has this experience been for you, being a part of the tour and everything? It's been great. Definitely always interested to uh, enlighten uh, the young ladies as to the real thoughts of men instead of having them go to their girlfriends trying to figure out how we think. So it's been a blessing for that. Same for you? Um, for me, it's just always good to have insightful conversation. You know what I mean? And, you know, we all can stand to learn something from one another. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm a songwriter, so I write about love and I, I um, I grew up, you know, learning about it and wanting to know everything about it. Um, though we're not perfect at it, nobody's perfect, but, you know, it's just a learning process, and I think it's just great to keep the conversation going, you know. Out of everything that was said tonight, what do you think was the biggest chunk of information that people need to walk away from with? I think all the discussions on soul ties were, were uh, very valuable because um, we all deal with them, we all have them, and we don't realize how powerful they are. Uh, we could be, you know, hanging out one day, feeling a little down, and not realize what's going on, what happened there. This is a negative connection for somebody else. So I think it's important to know um, the, the real value in sex. And, you know, you can't go out there and, and just just give yourself and, and allow somebody to take in. And uh, you don't realize what's actually occurring aside from the physical. So I think that was a very important topic. It's not discussed a lot either. Very, very nice. Okay, so where can everybody find out more about you? What do you guys have going on? We're going to start with Mrs. Tony. TonyGaskins.com and my Twitter is at TonyGaskins. KennyPugh.com and all my social media is out there as well as information for my book as well. So. All right, Mr. Brian. Uh, Global14.com and my uh, Twitter is uh, at Brian underscore M underscore Cox. Burialesque.com. It's uh, Burialesque on everything, Twitter, Facebook. All right, thank you. Danny B, signing out. Okay, Danny B with you guys again. As you just saw, I talked with Brian Michael Cox, Mr. Tony Gaskins himself, and everybody else on his esteemed panel. We learned a lot about what we as women need to do to get ourselves in line to, you know, get a ring one day. I ain't looking for that, but some people might be. I'm not right now, but <laughs> I'm Danny B, y'all. Check me out, dannyb.com, and peace.